Today, we're gonna change a fuel filter on a Duramax. Pretty easy little job. I don't know, from a dealership, it probably, or a service place, probably 100 bucks to 150 bucks change fuel filter, I guess, I don't know. Fuel filter's located on the passenger side of the engine compartment, over by the wheel well. There's the battery. But we're gonna do it through the inner fender today to make it a little easier to understand. So if you ever have your tire off and your inner fender out, it's a great time to change your fuel filter. This here is the water sensor. It senses if there's water in the fuel, there's a little float in there of light. You gotta unhook that bad boy. Here's a little connector and just push it with your thumb. It comes right out. Easy cheesy. Um, this here is to drain the water out. You need a, here's what you need for tools. You're going to use the oil filter wrench, channel locks, pick for a seal, and either you can use a screwdriver or a 13 millimeter for the top. So you can do this off the vehicle or on the vehicle. I like to do it when it's on. Just loosen that bad boy up. Makes life easier when you get it off. Get your oil filter wrench in there. And yeah, it's kind of messy. Um, you know, you can put a pan under it. You can pull this out first to try and control it, but whatever. So the main thing is, you want to make sure that that seal is still there. And it's not stuck to there. Just like an oil filter. You don't want to double gasket anything. I think that's about the best one I've ever did. There's your little floaty float float. Take a pick, pull this bad boy off, and use that for a cock ring. You use the old one. I meant that one, the big one. Put your seal on. Get this bad boy in here. Careful of these wires. Not so much now, but like when you're taking them apart. You don't want to break them off. I'm sure that new plastic piece of the flow is probably a hundred dollar bill from the dealership. One thing I like to do is um, put the date on the stuff. Even though the dash has the uh, fuel filter right. That on. I didn't, as you see, I didn't put any lube on the bottom one because my fingers are all full of diesel. So I'm gonna grab a little bit for this one. Don't worry about it. All right. Just double check we have no gaskets in there. Like I said, you can totally do this from the top side. Um, from the bottom, it's definitely a lot easier but I would never do the extra work to pull the fender and out to do it but since I had it off put a wrench back on there and you don't have to get after it I mean it's a rubber seal they seal phenomenal just snug it up I don't know it seems like everyone likes to over tighten stuff too much That's tight. Plug our water thing back in. So you hear it snappy snap snap. Now this is the <laughs> this 
one thing and I'm gonna do it now because I always forget. On the top there, right, ha, huh. that's a 13 mil, it's a plastic bolt. So easy, doesn't need to be that tight. Generally I would throw a rag over that, over that bolt there and then because the fuel is going to come out. It squirts out to the side but make sure you have your safety glasses on. So I think this is like 43 times that was one. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, thirty. Well, there's forty four, I think. Oh, forty five. You can see we got fuel, so you want that to squirt out nicely with no air. But yeah, if you, you never do it before, you'd never think you'd have to pump that many times to get fuel there. And tighten that back up. And that is a straight slot. I'm sorry, I can't get in there to really show you. So you can use the regular screwdriver or, like I said, a 13 mil socket. And just tighten that back up. So what do we say, like 45 times? Won't write that down so you remember the next time. Be a little better. Oh, I just can't get in there to show you. That little black do job there. Can you see it better here? Yep, right there. That's the screw I'm talking about. 13 mil or straight slot. This is the little plunger right there. Let's push that down 45 times or so. Um paint marker here. I like to do this kind of stuff because of my all timers and whatnot. We'll just put it X for times. Next time I'll wonder what the fuck does that mean. I'm gonna go give her a start and see what happens. There you go. Look at that. About eight minutes. I think from O'Reilly that fuel filter was about I should have left it run a little longer, but where is it? 27 bucks. You get a little bit of a deal on it, but you get the idea. Alright, good luck. Go crank some chrome.